So, update. Um, I had four synchronous classes today and two that I missed. <laughs> so, um, I had in with 60 this morning, introduction to translation, which was really pleasant. Uh, Sir seems really nice, so I'm looking forward to reading his book. And the second one was history, and Mam seems really nice and reasonable as well. So I'm excited for that. Um, in lit 32, 42 and 32 and 42 were the 3 to 4, 4 to 5 I didn't get to attend. But I'm doing all the work. So it's fine. And um, right now I'm trying to finish part 8 and 9 of Madame Bovary. So that, Madame Bovary. So that I can probably um, take a look at the Miss Julie presentation that I missed. And... Start reading the handsomest drowned man in the world so that I can start thinking of what uh, lens to use. Yeah, what theories to use for it and the sources, because it's due on the 26th. I will be doing my cover letter tomorrow and I will be reading the history source of Father de la Costa either tonight or tomorrow. And yeah, really trying my best. Um, I forgot to say. It's day three, and it is a Wednesday, and I'm so hungry. We ran out of sweets in the house, too, and yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. I didn't get to film day four, so it's, it's day five now. It's Friday, and right now... Okay, so yesterday I finished part nine of, the, of part one of Madame Bovary. And today I finished reading Initial Contact um, by Father De La Costa. And we have to do it. We're, we just finished a Discord call where we talked about how we're going to answer it because we have to write a reflection about it and stuff. And right now I'm finishing the history module so I can get it over with. And then I will read Handsomest Drowned Man in the World and then start to like formulate what theories I'm going to use for anal analyzing it because it's due on Monday and then after that I'm going to work on my cover letter and then after that I will read um, two texts from my NLIT 42 class so hopefully I can get all of that done but that's just what I'm doing today I've really been trying my best to like fix my sleeping schedule but last night I slept late and the other night I slept at like 12 a.m. ish and last night I slept at like almost 3 a.m. so mm, it's really messing me up and to be frank with you this quarter is not very well like welcoming in terms of like just the atmosphere it's not it's really not like the professors or anything but just the atmosphere of feeling like everything is so cramped and like, I'm tired, I don't want to think about school anymore. Like, if if you're like the kind of person who only has to worry about school, then good for you. But like, I'm thinking about a million things right now, of like... It's just things that I cannot say. But like, also like, you know, just errands and chores in, in general. And like, yeah. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's a lot. It's just a lot to do with right now. And like, you know when every time you open the news, just it just says, Philippines reaches all-time high every just every single day. Araw-araw na lang. Like, isn't that exhausting? Also, like, I've been learning more songs in the guitar, so I'm really proud of that. So I really hope I can do that more as well. And maybe make some covers. Trying to work on to and from again, but I haven't found the time to record myself singing it with the metronome and playing the bass. So yeah, that's coming soon, and yeah. Um, I want to dye my hair again soon, but I'm gonna have to like re-bleach this, my touch up, touch up my roots, and yeah. We're running out of food and grocery days to like Monday, so like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the middle of a video, so this video that I'm watching about primary and secondary sources, so I'm gonna get back to that and I'll see you tomorrow. So it is Saturday, which is like 
day six. Duh. 1222 a.m. right now, so it's basically Sunday, but I just wanted to share with you my favorite part of this reading by it's called Prov Provincial Elites by Guerrero, and there's this one part that made me laugh. So it says here Aguinaldo, who had returned from exile several weeks earlier, had already declared independence the day before. When he received that Tagalog translation of the manifesto, he noted tersely on its margin Tanghali kana. You are pretty late. So I <laughs> could just imagine him saying it Tanghali kana. <laughs> And cause obviously with a C. I don't know. It just made me laugh. <laughs> okay, so today, um, I was able to do my cover letter, take my histo quiz, and right now I'm reading bits and pieces of the Guerrero reading, the Kramer, the Guerrero reading, the Kramer reading, a little bit of the Alto Sir one a while ago, and I still haven't read a little bit, uh, even just a bit of the Handsomest Drowned Man, which. Probably because I want to be able to comprehend it with like full consciousness and I know I'm about to sleep so like right now I won't be but like yeah that's why I'm just reading a little bit of uh, history readings right now and I'll probably like work on the handsomest drown man tomorrow and I'm, I just plan on finishing this page three which has like two pages on each page so and I want to get ready for bed so I really hope that I can actually get something done for my critical analysis tomorrow took me so long to finish the cover letter, but I think I did a decent job. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow on Sunday, where we're working. Mm. Hello, it's Sunday, aka day 7, aka last day of week 9. I've decided to not do tip of the weeks anymore because I'm running out of tips, quite frankly. But quote of the weeks will- quotes of- quote of the week will still stay. So right now, I've- I've just been chilling the whole day, but not really chilling because I have Sunday chores. I'm always busy on Sundays, and now I'm reading *Handsome Strong Man*. And I can definitely say my most favorite quote from this week is this one because it's so funny. So, just goes, Esteban. At least, wait till the coffee's ready. We're the ones who would later, who later on would whisper, "The big boob finally left. How nice." The handsome fool has gone. That's it. Just with no context. The big boob finally left. I have to write a paper on this, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Um, I'm really gonna try my best to make my info dump for this tonight. So that I can look for um, theories. And then... I need to do my history group work as well, and read more of the text. This is due tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure I'll submit like really late, so yeah. Um, I don't know, I'll update you tomorrow and see what I can do, but I really hope that I'll be able to do at least, you know, um, something sufficient for today. See you tomorrow <laughs> for week 10. Hello, so I didn't film a day one, so this is technically day one and two, yesterday. <laughs> I didn't get to do anything because I was doing grocery and errands and everything and preparing the dog's food and whatever. But today, I plan on looking for sources for the info dump of my critical analysis that was due yesterday. I also answered a discussion board like one minute after it like literally when it was due thank god it didn't close yet um it was about madame bovary which i didn't finish yet i only finished parts one to nine of chapter one i think so um i can't be bothered to see the rest of what i was saying and because like it cut out because my battery died but i washed my hair it's still the same day um i cut my bangs so they were getting a little bit long because i put off cutting them for like a week so basically, um, after this, after I uh, put in my next size of gauge, which is probably like uh, 8G now or something, because I waited like four months, uh, I'm gonna start looking for my sources. And yeah, basically, yesterday was 
I didn't do much, but it was still exhausting thinking about all the stuff that I have to do. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm trying to fade out my hair, by the way. So if you have any like suggestions on how to do that safely without damaging my hair, I'd love that because I plan on going like, I don't know, some other color with a split dye. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all probably later tomorrow. I just had my endless 60 class and we talked about um, this poem by Paul Selen about the Holocaust, right? And I think Sir fuck. I think Sir doesn't like us because we didn't really res. Um, no, actually, a few of us did recite, but like a lot of us didn't have our cameras on, so we didn't get to say like a proper goodbye. He just ended it. Anyways, right now I'm listening to Nimrod because I didn't get to finish it yesterday. I was in the shower, and I just wanted to say that. Um, I'm about to have history class at 11, it's 10.37 right now, yeah, it's, um, day three. I keep forgetting to say that at the beginning. Okay, so, um, it's this poem called Tabacaria by Fernando Pessoa and Álvaro de Campos. So this, this one part that goes... We conquer the world even before we rise from bed. But we wake up and it is opaque. We get up and it is alien. Um, there's other parts of it, obviously, but that's the part I like the most. Uh, yeah, because, I don't know, it just... It says a lot about how it feels to be, like, living in this... You know, I don't even care anymore, I'm just gonna say it. Pandemic, like... Every day just feels exactly the same. Cue boring by the Brobacks. <laughs> but yeah. Um, hopefully today I can finally finish my info dump for Inlet 42, but I have lots of class stuff to do for today. And hopefully I can finish the material as well for uh, Inlet 60 so that I can just not have to worry about it for another week. And yeah. See you later tomorrow trying to do my best <sighs> so progress update for day four <sighs> okay i went through a little bit of a history module and i finished althusser and foucault um what else should i do uh read a bit oh, i finished a chapter of Madame Bovary and I still didn't get to finish my info dump I only need at least two more man just two more and then I can do my outline but then tomorrow we have a history group thing due and uh, you know what as much as I would love to read the sub the, the, the texts I don't think I can like, it just takes up so much valuable time from the other subjects that actually require me to read the material so that I can pass. And like, uh, it's draining, because like, paying for, for education to learn, and like, I can't even do that. Furby. Uh, anyways, it's exhausting. I need to finish my info dump tomorrow for sure so I can start my outline because I have that other paper due on Monday in Inlet 32. Uh, I also have the PE video due tomorrow because I didn't film it today, but it's okay because it's a short video. I can do it first thing in the morning. Uh, uh, I have to finish the Inlet 32 module, which wouldn't be hard. The history module as well. I might just skip out on the readings to be honest. Maybe read like, I don't know, a page or two, but honestly, I'm the type of person who goes all in or nothing because like What's the point when I'm reading like a text? I, I just can't I can't retain anything if I don't read the whole thing. I know it's like Unimpressive but like whatever uh, Yeah I didn't get to do Everything I wanted to today in terms of academics and I get so easily distracted and I procrastinate a lot Especially because, like, I don't know, it's getting more and more exhausting. But yeah, I'll really do my best to get everything done tomorrow. I worked out today, so I feel a little bit more chill. 
and not like dying so tomorrow I'm really gonna like mm, drill you know I think I'm gonna begin with um, the info dump honestly so that I can just get it over with but actually no the PE video first then that then everything else Mm, it's just bothering me so much because I know that it's gonna take me at least like another hour to finish the info dump The outline will take at least two hours max, maybe three, I don't know And writing, writing takes at least three hours So, woo And I have the other th oh my god I, am, I can't even get into it right now So yeah, happy Thursday, I'm gonna spend my Friday kicking my own ass Oh, and by the way, like, if you're a student and you're having a hard time and you're struggling and stuff like that, just try, I, this is what I do at least, I try to remind myself when I'm panicking, I'm like, okay, I'm panicking, but then like, what's gonna happen? Like, you know, it will be okay, like, I just, obviously I have no idea what that, how that's gonna turn out, but every single time I've panicked in the past, I ended up turning out okay and i know i look exhausted and it's look, it looks a bit scary but yeah yeah i don't know it's just a really nice coping mechanism i learned like when i'm kind of freaking out because i'm doing something that i don't i'm not supposed to be doing at that time For example i was playing like seven matches of s seven matches of mortal kombat yesterday because we just got the other controller back and i was like oh i should be doing my sources and i was like you know what i don't really play It'll be fine. And I'm honestly still pretty bad at time management, so that's another thing. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to get some sleep, so... Because, you know, bright and early tomorrow. Gotta film that warm-up video. Will I show you? Probably. Probably not. Maybe, like, I'll speed it up so you can laugh. <laughs> Hello, so I just finished my workout. I fi Congrats to me for finishing the one of the programs that took me like two months to do. Even if it was only 28 days because I do it every other day and there were times I had to do go weeks without doing it because of my schedule in school. But, you know, here I am. I'm done and I'm not going to be doing any programs for a while. Like what I did in the first quarter when I would just do random videos alternately with cardio and stuff, so that's gonna be fun. I'm about to feed the dogs, and today I will finish my outline, which I started yesterday. I will read Gramsci. I think it was only like eight pages, let's chill. And hopefully I can start and finish my critical analysis. Um, let's stay hopeful, but you know, um, worst case scenario is that I s s start, s finish it tomorrow, and I do the paper due on Monday on the day itself. So, let's hope that doesn't happen, but there is a possibility. As you know, Sunday is my busiest day. It is... Did I say it was day six already? Yeah. Um, so that's my plan today. And... I'll probably see you tomorrow or later. So I don't know. Okay, I keep doing this now. At the end of it's like a reflex at this point. So hello, I'm about to feed the dogs. It is Sunday night. I am this close to finishing my outline for a paper that was due last Monday. Today, Sunday. And the paper due tomorrow, I will be doing tomorrow, so... Uh, oh yeah, just for context, NLIT42 is the one that I'm doing right now. Mapping it out, almost done. It's about Kana the Dreamweaver. Really good film, by the way, by Aida Del Mundo, I believe. Uh, it's about... Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but it's about the Tiboli, the Tiboli tribe. And... The Kana, the Dreamweaver. <laughs> it's really good, it's really good. Anyways, um, so far the week has been kind of a train wreck, but I'm feeling very positive despite the fact that I've been wearing the same shirt the whole week. 
Uh, <laughs> I really need to re redo all my post-its because like they've been bitten and they lost their stick. But yeah, um, hopefully next week by the time I'm done with all of these things, like the th heavy writing things, will be sort of like in the middle part, just full of stuff to read. Which I'm kind of looking forward to because all of the final writing stuff will be towards the end again. So I'm just glad that I get to, you know, be almost done with this. Oh yeah, also today I finished the whole part 2 of Madame Bovary and now I'm gonna do part 3 if I have time tonight then I'll do it tonight. I'm also gonna read Hib... I don't know what this to pronounce this. Hib... Hibdij? Hebdige of freaking no. So um, please tell me how to pronounce that. It's for my NLIT 42 class. Um, I have to answer the discussion board tomorrow. So, yeah, uh, I also read Gramsci today. And was that today? Or was it yesterday? I can't remember. No, that was yesterday. Um, yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> I'm just glad I got back on my feet with them exercising and, you know, not panicking too much about not being on time with everything. I have PE class tomorrow, so I will be moving the writing of the Inlet 42 paper on Tuesday so that tonight I can read Heb... Heb... Hebdig. Um, Madame Bovary, finish my outline, and tomorrow... I'll go to class, answer, read Alsop, answer the discussion board, write the Madame Bovary paper and submit it. Then the next day, I'll do my history texts and finish writing this paper, start writing it and finish it because the outline is basically like, it's basically writing it already. I'm just, you know, building skeleton but yeah so that being said let's proceed to the quote of the week i have nothing for tip of the week as i've mentioned anymore i uh, will not be doing that anymore because i am just i have nothing useful to <laughs> contribute anymore so okay here this one is from althusser or is it foucault yeah yeah it is althusser uh here the least act of disobedience is punished and the best way of avoiding serious offenses is to punish the most minor offenses very severely uh, this is him talking about Mitri which is a it's like um a place where I believe juvenile delinquents are were like held in before I didn't do much background research I just kept reading because I qu quite frankly, I don't have the time, <laughs> but that quote itself just really reminds me of our government right now, you know, like, very martial law-y stuff, but <sighs> I'm just gonna leave it at that, so, yeah, just think about that, smallest offenses are punished severely, so the people don't do the bigger ones. Makes sense, right? Not very humane, but makes sense for them. Oh yeah, this reading was about ISAs and RSAs. You know, ideological state apparatus and repressive state apparatus says, yeah. It's a literature thing where... I think I'm running out of memory, so I can't explain it right now. But look it up if you're interested. It's actually very interesting. It's how about how certain hegemonies, hegemonies, are actually implanting stuff in your brain every day without you knowing yeah okay last quote this one just made me laugh this one's from madame bovary so this is from charles's charles's the narrator's point of view talking about charles here a more agreeable concern came to distract him, namely his wife's pregnancy. As her term drew near, she became all the more dear to him. Another bond of the flesh was being established between them. And something like a pervasive sense of a more complex union. When, 
From a distance, he watched her indolent steps and her waist turning gently above her uncorseted hips, when, across from her, he contemplated her at his ease. As she sat, tired in her armchair, his happiness could no longer be contained. He would stand up, he would kiss her, run his hands over her face, call her little mama, <laughs> try to get her to dance, and half laughing, half crying, babble all sorts of fond pleasantries that came into his head. Little mama. I read that whole passage just to tell you that Charles do be out here saying little mama to Emma. I don't know. It just made me laugh. Okay, yeah, that's that's basically my quote of the week. Do I have an explanation for why? Other than the fact that he says little mama, no. That's it. So I hope you enjoyed this week. Week 10, right? Was it week 10? Yes? Yeah, week 10 to 8. So I'll see you in week 11 or 12. I can't do math anymore. My brain's not working. My school ends on Ju June 5. But I'll take you with me in my intercession because I'm going to have to add my PE that I didn't take in first semester of freshman year. So that's going to be some the internship vlogs. I'll probably still call it lip vlogs, maybe. I don't know how much I'll be allowed to divulge, but you know, for the people. For the people, I shall do it for the people. And yeah, I'm gonna proceed to feed the dogs now and continue some of my work while I wait for my food. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, dawn, twilight. Um, speaking of twilight, I'm gonna rewatch it and probably buy a bunch of secondhand books someday. Take care. Mwah.